Hello everyone. Today I'm going to take you through a quick example of how to use a specific DAX function called use relationship. Now use relationship can be especially important when you're switching between different sets of data and you need the relationship to switch. Uh, most often we see this, you know, when you're looking at different date periods, maybe a column is different between the fact and dimension table and you need to switch the relationship. Use relationship can do that for you. So it can, be, it can be extremely important if you don't want to switch up your data model. Now I'll show you a quick example of you know, how to actually implement this in a PBIX file. So in my data model here, you can see I've got a few different tables. I've got a dimension table, a fact table, and a measure table. My dimension table is just date. It's got date and quarter, and I've listed that here. It's just a list of dates you know, between uh, 2022 and 2021. And then my fact table has some information based off of sales data. So you've got person, quantity, amount, revenue, reporting date, and transaction date. Now for this example, reporting date and transaction date are slightly different. Transaction date is the date that the actual transaction happened. And let's say for this fictitious company, reporting date happens once per quarter. So once per quarter, they close the books, they you know get their actual reporting amounts, and uh, report them to their, their company. Uh, so this only happens on December 31st and March 31st in our example. Now, if I go to my data model, I can see I've got the fact table, the dimension table, and the measure table. My active relationship is between the dimension table and the fact table, and it's based off of date to transaction date. It's a one-to-many relationship, and I've also got an inactive relationship between date and reporting date. Now to use use relationship, you need to have an inactive relationship uh, connected between two tables. Um, it's, it's used in the actual measure itself. So let me go back to the report. You can see I've got these two cards in the top and these are my two examples. They're called transaction sales and a measure called reporting sales. So this top left one will be transaction sales and this one right here will be reporting sales. Now let's take a look at transaction sales. My measure, pretty simple, you know, it's just to calculate the sum of my fact table and the revenue column. So I've also got a slicer up here. Everything before May 10th, 2022, sometime in the future, of course, hasn't really happened. So this is gonna be every piece of data. Now the sum of revenue is 1720, and that's displayed right here. I've also got a reporting measure which you can see is slightly more complicated. It's got calculate the sum of revenue. And I've also got this filter statement here at the end called use relationship. Now use relationship is essentially taking the fact table itself along with the date table that you wanna use in your example. So I'm essentially changing my join, changing my, uh, my relationship. Instead of the relationship going from date to transaction date, I now want to turn this relationship on and use date to reporting date. So I'm basically changing the joint to date to reporting date right here. So it basically overrides the relationship that you had originally set. Now, the reason this can be important, like I said, is if you're changing your set of data. So to show you an example here, let's see what happens if I were to change my date to anything before January 31st, 2022. What I should see is for uh, transaction sales, this will show me you know, anything before that date, which would be just these top four columns here. If I show you know, reporting amount, that's gonna be just the, just the top three rows right here, December 31st rows. So they should be slightly different. And transaction date is gonna be, or transaction sales is gonna show slightly more information it's going to you know show information that happened in the month of uh, in the month of January that maybe hadn't actually posted yet. So let's go ahead and change this to January first, January thirty first, twenty twenty two. You can see it's slightly different here. So I've got twelve hundred for transaction sales, and that's you can see that right there, and then seven hundred and fifty for reporting sales, which is just uh, which is just going to be the, like I said, the top three rows there. So you can see how that can be pretty important if you're changing your relationships and it can be a pretty powerful tool and to have in your, in your DAX arsenal. 
so thank you everyone very much for listening.